crochet friends it's me jonah and let's thank your inspirations for sponsoring today's show and tell the holidays are fast approaching so i decided to make a set of two of the red heart crochet christmas stockings and here they are oh just let me tell you all the different aspects that i love about this stocking we got to start off with look at this elegant cable pattern there's three different cables in here there's the mini cables, which are just a left twist. There's a big center cable, which is absolutely my favorite. So I'll show you that later. And then there's also a crisscrossing diagonal cable down here at the foot. And another aspect is I can't get over these pom-poms. They're so big and full and they just add a really nice touch. And the cuff, it's a single crochet rib. So it's nice and tight, but it's stretchy and it really offsets the cream of the cable and that's just a couple reasons that I really love this stocking. But today, I wanted to take you through this big center cable here. It's like a braided cable, and it goes over nine stitches, so it's nice and wide. But another thing I love about this pattern is how versatile it is. You can use a four weight like I used. The Payton's Canadiana. I used the colors Aran, Black, and Cardinal. But you can use any four weight. You could also use Karen Simply Soft for a bit of a sheen. You could even use Red Heart Super Saver Metallic for the cuffs to add a little bit of holiday bling. And those are just a few ideas. Let me know in the comments what you're going to do with your stocking. But let's get into this, and I'm going to show you how to do this braided cable. Okay, I'm back. And so you could see it better for the purpose of this demonstration, I got started on a little swatch of two of the different types of the cable the small cables right here and then the larger braided cable and in between each cable you just be doing solid stitches half double or double and i'm just going to begin by working a few double crochets half double crochets just to start to get yourself established before you begin to actually work your pattern and work one more to reach my crisscrossing point. And the little cables of this pattern, I'm going to be working a double crochet and crossing it, and it'll cross to the left. So skip this first post stitch, going around the front of the second, complete a double crochet. Wrap around and go back around the post stitch that you skipped, grab it, and finish off a double crochet. And as you can see, it's crisscrossing over itself to the left. Then in my case, I'm gonna work four more half double crochets for my solid panel. That will help push the cables out. Two, three, and then four. And now we're on to the big braided cable. The braided cable is a repeat of four rows. The first row is a crossing row. The second row is just a posting row. The third row is a crossing row and the fourth row is a posting row. And you'll see what I mean. So you'll be starting off at the bottom of your chain, but it's the same process. So for your first repeat, you'll skip the first three front post double crochets. Work three front post double crochets in the next three stitches. Two. And I'm being very careful to just get that third one. And I have three, and I can already tell it's slanting in this direction. So I'm going to wrap and do a double crochet in this three I skipped, but we're going to be working behind the post. And this is what identifies in the pattern as a three over three right cross going back around and inserting it around the post of that stitch. And then I personally like to flip my work down so that I can just loop it back through and finish the stitch on a diagonal. Then I'm gonna go back down, fish out that stitch going around the throat or the post and repeat a double crochet. And do that one more time for our third and final skip stitch. And you've just completed 
your right cross. You can see you've done six stitches and it's crossing to the right. And the next step is to go to your next three stitches and then just front post double crochet them. Nice and simple. And then you're going to work solid stitches and then your same braided cable that you started with. But I also wanted to let you know, once you establish this center cable pattern, you'll find it was actually, it's actually a very simple pattern and it's also one that's great for memorization because you'll be able to tell from the rows below without counting which one's up next. And you'll see what I mean here in just a moment as soon as I finish up these next couple stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking you through row two and three. And after that, you'll be able to follow on the pattern on your own. So turn your work. And here you see the back side, no cables, of course. And chain up two or three, depending on your tension. And work your solid stitches. And as you can see now, you've reached your cable, the back side of it. So you're just going to work two back post double crochets going around the first one scooping around the throat from right to left and working that second and then work some solid stitches and now here's where it gets a little fiddly but just take your time over your next nine stitches, just work back post double crochets. And you're working these back post double crochets so you have some height to work on so that your braided cables are nice and elongated and not short and choppy. I've done my first three and careful to just scoop around my fourth and lead into my next. Boom. And then number six. And then with this section of the row, I like to kind of flip my work upside down and find, oh, there's number seven. And right here, there's number eight. And number nine, too. And then, as expected, I'll work my solid stitches in my case, it'd be four. If you do the half double crochet, you'll get more of a denser fabric. But the pattern calls for double crochet, but I'm using half double crochet because it's easier to show you the cables with the height of the stitches and not elongating them. Okay, working four more solid stitches or however many you have to get to the end of your row. And just going under both loops. Now this is the row where it's going to change. And then you're just going to keep repeating a solid row going back across. And then switching out with the two cabled rows. So start off with your solid stitches. And of course for your little cables. Or in the pattern as they call them your one over one left cross. Just skip the first post, double crochet around the second, go back to the first, and double crochet. Then we're going to work four more solid stitches. And as you can see, so our last, this is where you'll be able to tell what row's next based on what you've already done. You can see here that in your most recent row, these were crossing over to the left. That was the first thing that happens. So when you see that, you're going to go, okay, so these were just crossing over to the right. So we're just going to work solid front post for the first three stitches. And once you do that, you can come right over here and see, oh, there's three here, and then these three are kind of hidden behind it, and you want to be able to pull them out so they all 
line up on top of each other, so just skip those three for the moment. And front post, double crochet around the last three. And again. And then it kind of closes up the cable, but what you're going to have to do is separate it. And stick your hook down into the center and scoop out that first skip stitch. And it is a little fiddly, but as you work through it, you'll get the hang of it and you can go pretty fast with this cable. And then just work your final front post double crochet. And then you guessed it, continue with your solid stitches. And then your braided cable. Three, four, And just loop it around for like miniature cable braid. And for your first few rows of the cable, I recommend you take it nice and slow because the first two rows are usually the make or break for the cable. And now so I can lay it down flat, I'm just gonna work a few more chains. Now, when I lay it flat, you can see I have my two side cables, my solid stitching, and then my center braided cable. And what you'll need to do to achieve this pattern going all the way the length of your stocking, which by the way is 20 inches tall, it, what you're gonna have to do is then do a row back across, which is a repeat of row two. We are just gonna do back posting on your post cables and then just solid stitches where your solid stitches are. And then the next row, you're going to do solid stitches where the solid stitches are, and then repeat the pattern for your cable. And then the only other thing you'll have to do is do the ribbed topping. Add your pom-poms, reverse single crochet around the edge, and that is what you have to do to achieve your beautiful cables. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Jonas Hands and Yarn Inspirations. And I certainly hope you try out this cable. It's one of my favorites. Crochet away, friends. <laughs>